All right. I think we're there. I don't know, it's still loading. Maybe. Should we move the napkin holder? <laughs> too late now. No, it's never too late. Never too late to try to have a, uh, a nice back. Huh? <laughs> hey, kids. Hi. And uh, let me just do this real quick. Right. I think we might be. Oops. Just smile and wave. <laughs> smile and wave. <laughs> As we try to figure out. Oh, there's people are watching. Oh, cool. So Good. we're, uh, we hope you're very entertained by all this. It gets better. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> um, hello, hello. Oh, great. There's folks calling in. Um, and hey, if you, uh, if you have, we are. Thank you. <laughs> Live update from the, the followers. <laughs> Um, so thank you for joining us. And if you are, um, if you are, uh, watching and have kids with you, so, uh, go ahead and type in, um, how, how old your children are or if the child's watching this. Um, so we're going to, uh, you know, do some, some story time. <laughs> By the way, this is my daughter, Bailey. Hi, I'm Bailey. <laughs> We rehearsed this over and over and over again. This is all improv. Yeah, <laughs> as it is always with me. Uh, you may, for those of you who have seen the videos that we did, uh, what is it? 10 years, ten, ago. Ten years ago now. Well, um, almost 11. 11. Yeah. yeah. When Bailey was just nine, we shot a couple of um, videos for kids. And, uh, and then we shot some last summer. Yeah. Bailey came back from her first year of college and said, you know what? We should do some videos for uh, for older kids, like teenagers. Oh, we've got a 10-year-old watching. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, let's, um, you know, let's do a, a, a quick tapping round first, and then we'll, um, and, and then we'll do uh, some story time. So... If you are going to, if you're going to tap, remember, if you want to, if you're going to be touching your face, which we do with a lot of the tapping, make sure you have either hand sanitizer or wash your hands. Remember, it's very important to have your hands clean before you are tapping. In fact, we'll do it. That's okay. Well, I can tell that it works. <laughs> I know. So... It goes for the grown-ups too, the older kids too. Make sure your hands are clean if you need to tap. So, uh, you know, right now with everything that's going on, understandably, you might, uh, there might be a number of things that you're feeling. You might be feeling fear from what people are talking about. You might feel sad because you're not going to school and seeing your friends and the, you know, the different, uh, the different things that are going on that you might feel like you're missing out on. You might feel angry about what uh, what's going on and not being able to do what you want to do and being stuck at home with your parents because that's hard isn't it very yeah <laughs> i'm just kidding it's a breeze i love yeah. being home from college <laughs> having all of the classes online mm -hmm. yeah so so let's uh let's go ahead and we tap it along and I'll, I'll show you where to tap and say phrases. And my lovely assistant will repeat back what I say, and then you can say the words with her. Even though this stinks. Even though this stinks. I'm still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. Even though this stinks sometimes. Even though this stinks sometimes. I'm a really great kid. I'm a really great kid. Even though this stinks sometimes. Even though this stinks sometimes. It's so different. It's so different. It's not the way I'm used to. It's not the way I'm used to. And it's not the way I like it. And it's not the way I like it. And there might be some cool things. 
And there might be some cool things. But a lot of it stinks. But a lot of it stinks. And even though it stinks. And even though it stinks. I'm still a great kid. I'm still a great kid. This really stinks. This really stinks. I'm not happy about all this. I'm not happy about all this. I don't like all of this. I don't like all this. It's not what I'm used to. It's not what I'm used to. I wish things were different. I wish things were different. I wish I could go out and see my friends. I wish I could go out and see my friends. There's a lot of things I wish I could do. There's a lot of things I wish I could do. And I'm upset about that. And I'm upset about that. And I'm still a great kid. And I'm still a great kid. And it's tough. And it's tough. It's hard for me. It's hard for me. It's hard for my parents. It's hard for my parents. Pretty much hard for everybody. Pretty much hard for everybody. And I'm still a great kid. And I'm still a great kid. And somehow. And somehow. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to do the best I can. And feel as good as I can. And feel as good as I can. Because even though this stinks. Because even though this stinks. I still can feel good. I can still feel good. I get to choose that. I get to choose that. And I'm still a great kid. And I'm still a great kid. And I really like that about myself. And I really like that about myself. Take a deep breath. And throughout the day, you know, when things are bothering you, tapping is a, is a simple way to make yourself feel better. And if there are times when your hands aren't clean or when you just don't feel like doing the whole tapping around, even just tapping right here, and you can just make a fist and tap right there where your collarbones come together. It's just a simple way to help yourself feel better. So uh, I think you do story time now. Story time. All right. Do you have the hard copy of the soft copy? Hard copy. All right. Am so I doing it this way or am I doing it? You, well, you can read it like that, and then I'll hold up the um, the pictures. So this is a this is a, a book that I did uh, last year or the year before with my friend Penny, and it uh, attaches to different videos. But we're gonna Bailey will read it. I'll show you the pictures, and and you can just read along. And I might even encourage you while you're listening to go ahead and be tapping and you can be tapping just right here or you can, can be tapping different points and just allowing yourself to use this time to clear out those yucky feelings and feel better while uh while we're reading through this all right so um uh, no you can go go fast forward there's a lovely forward by my very good friend, Dr. Peter Stapleton. Here. But. Here. I should close it up. Yeah. Okay. All right, tell me when. Go for it. All right. I choose to have a good day. I choose to do my best today. The better I do, the better my day. And I can make it a really good day. I am allowing myself to feel really good so I can do and be my best today. And I am a really great kid. I choose to be kind to myself. Sometimes I don't think I deserve to be kind to myself, but I choose to take good care of myself. And the better I feel, it, the easier it is to be nice to myself and to others. And I am a really great kid. I choose to be kind to others. Sometimes I am not nice to others and sometimes others aren't nice to me either. When someone is being a bully, they probably don't feel good inside. When I am nicer to others, I feel better and they feel better too. The more I can be kind, the more I can spread kindness. And the better I feel inside, the easier it is to be kind. And I'm a really great kid. Wow, there are people right in from calling in from the UK. Oh, that's awesome. It's very late for you. Thank you. <laughs> We're on. Um, I choose to relax. Sometimes I feel nervous, scared, or anxious. Something inside me is telling me I need to be careful. I can be careful, but I don't have to feel so bad inside. I can relax and still make good choices. I am allowing myself to breathe more easily and to calm down. And I am taking really good care of myself while still being safe. And I am a really great kid. 
beautiful. Yes, you are. I choose to be more focused. Sometimes it is really hard to focus when you have the wiggles and giggles, but I choose to pay attention to what is important because that is really good for me. I am letting go of my nervous energy so I can be right here, right now, and be relaxed and focused. I am a really great kid. I choose to feel brave. Sometimes I feel really scared and it doesn't feel good. What am I afraid of? I can be brave and still be smart and not get hurt. Am I afraid of being embarrassed? I don't have to feel bad because of what other people are thinking. I can let go of the fear and still choose to be smart in a brave way. And I am a really great kid. I choose to calm down. Sometimes I get so angry or so upset. Part of me believes that I have a right to be angry and I need to be angry to get what I want. But I'd rather feel good and find solutions to my problems, so I choose to calm down. When I calm down, I think better and I can think of the best way to get what I want. And I am a really great kid. I choose to feel good again. Some things, sometimes things happen that make me really sad and that is good and that is normal. But I am ready to let myself feel good again now. I am giving myself permission to feel as good as I can. That doesn't mean I don't care about what made me sad. I am just ready to feel good again. And I am a really great kid. I choose to be positive. Sometimes things do not turn out the way I want them to, but I can choose to look for the positive in situations, in others and in myself. When I go looking for the best, I am more likely to find it. Still, some things don't go as I want and I don't get what I want. So that is disappointing and doesn't feel good. It is not bad or wrong to feel disappointed, but I'd rather feel better, so I'm giving myself permission to feel better. And I am a really great kid. I choose to know I am good enough just the way I am. Sometimes I feel like I am just not good enough. The more I remember that I am good enough, the better I do. And when I feel good enough, I can help others feel good enough too. I am not perfect, but that does not mean that I am not good enough. I have been good enough from the beginning and I am getting better all the time. And I choose to feel really good about myself. And I am a really great kid. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> and as Penny pointed out, as you can see on each of the uh, each of the pages is a QR code. So, and you can actually uh, get the ebook for free. There's a link in the um, I don't know where it is on this, but <laughs> in, in the comments, Penny posted the, the link in the comments so you can um, get the ebook. Thank you. Well done. Well read. Okay. And we have. Uncles and aunts and cousins watching too. Hi oh, guys. Sweet. Hi family. <laughs> and hi non families. <laughs> We're all family at this point. Right, right. <laughs> One big social distanced family. <laughs> uh, so, and hopefully you guys are all uh, well and safe and taking care of yourself. And uh, so let us know what uh, what's coming up for. Um, if you guys, is there anything in particular that you'd like to talk about or tap about? And, and remember, you can keep tapping while we're uh, while we're here. Do you have any thoughts? No, good. <laughs> I'd like to hear what everyone else wants to talk about. I think there's a, a lag. There might be a slight lag. Oh, All right, more even more family. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> And I appreciate all of you guys. Yeah. Sounds like we have a good crowd. Canada, the UK, Australia. Wide reach. Yeah. It's awesome. Ooh, no. A few people on. Oh, Spain. Awesome. More. <laughs> More folks staying up very, very late or getting up very, very early in the morning. So, but I know that during these, uh, during these times, um, time almost seems irrelevant. <laughs> I know that our, uh, our schedule has been very, uh, very off. Oh, there's a question. Oh. 
How do we help kids handle the divorces in school? <laughs> yeah. I, I can say the question was how to handle kids. You can definitely answer that. Um, do it anyway. Um, um, <laughs> All of my classmates and my teachers, even though we're all spread across the country and some international students. Um, so that that's what keeps bringing me back is just seeing everybody and like continuing to learn, even though like everything's happening in weird ways, at least that can stay normal. So that's something that keeps getting me back. Yeah, I've noticed that it's getting better. Yeah. We're having we're having some trouble with these uh, Facebook lives. I think because there's so many people trying to do Facebook lives at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw your <laughs> Christy from last night. <laughs> Live IT. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I hope oh. that answered that question. Yeah, and you know, there's a couple things that you can also do. You know, talk to your kids about it being like a, an online video game, yeah. or, or even that uh, you know that their teacher is on TV and now they're a TV star. All kinds of fun ways of reframing it, yeah. and uh, and sometimes there are just some things that we all have to do that we may not fully enjoy. So, uh, <laughs> so let's do. It. Actually, we'll do a little tap and round. That. Okay. So for. <laughs> there may be things that you don't want to do, uh, mm -hmm. and pardon me. It's grim. Well, I don't call her that. <laughs> yeah, it's my grandma. <laughs> yes. Mimi's, Mimi's on the call. So, uh, so be thinking about uh, something that you don't want to do, like chores or classes online or whatever it might be. Even though I don't want to. Even though I don't want to do it. That's your cue. <laughs> I'm still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. Even though I don't want to do it. Even though I don't want to do it. I'm still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. Even though I don't want to do it. Even though I don't want to do it. There's a lot of things I don't want to do. There's a lot of things I don't want to do. But they have to be done. But they have to be done. Even though I don't want to do it. And even though I don't want to do it, I'm still a great kid. I'm still a great kid. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. There are some things. There are some things. I don't want to have to do. I don't want to have to do. And I'm told I have to do it. And I'm told I have to do it. But I don't want to. But I don't want to. All these feelings. All these feelings. About all this stuff. About all this stuff. That I just don't want to do. That I just don't want to do. And I might want to kick and scream. And I might want to kick and scream. I might want to throw, throw a tantrum. I might want to throw, but the funny thing is, I'm probably still going to have to do it. I'm probably still going to have to do it. So the sooner I get it done. So the sooner I get it done. The better. The better. Because then I, because the sooner I get, the, the sooner I get these things done. The sooner I get these things done. The sooner I get to move on. The sooner I get to move on. To things that I do want to do. To things I do want to do. And this is just how life is. And this is just how life is. Sometimes we have to do things. Sometimes we have to do things. We really, really don't want to do. We really don't want to do. And even though I don't want to do them. I'm still a great kid. I'm still a really great kid. <laughs> Still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. And I choose to feel good about that. And I choose to feel good about that. And take a deep breath. And I just saw Deborah O'Connor's on there. Yes. Thanks for reminding me, Penny. Deborah O'Connor did these beautiful pictures all throughout the book. So um Yeah, and um someone's the kid in the book is watching. Oh. Yeah. Um we also got a question earlier. Um about anxiousness regarding the virus. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yourself to be aware of the fear that you might feel—fear, anxiousness, 
whatever it might be. And uh, lot of fear. Hits you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes fear just smacks you upside the face. So, even though I'm scared. Even though I'm scared. I'm still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. Even though I'm scared. Even though I'm scared. I'm still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. Even though I'm scared. Even though I'm scared. I'm afraid of being sick. I'm afraid of being sick. I'm afraid of my family getting sick. I'm afraid of my family getting sick. I'm afraid about a lot of things right now. I'm afraid of a lot of things right now. And even though I'm really scared. And even though I'm really scared. I'm still a really great kid. I'm still a really great kid. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. All this fear. All this fear. All this anxiety. All this anxiety. I really feel anxious sometimes. I really feel anxious sometimes. And it's not a good feeling. And it's not a good feeling. I might feel a lot of things. I might feel a lot of things. That don't feel like good feelings. That don't feel like good feelings. I feel anxious. I feel anxious. I might feel sad. I might feel sad. I might feel angry. I might feel angry. I feel scared. I feel scared. All these uncomfortable feelings. All these uncomfortable feelings. And I'm tapping through them. And I'm tapping through them. And even though I feel these things. And even though I feel these things. I'm still a great kid. I'm still a great kid. And just knowing what a great kid I am. And just knowing what a great kid I am. I'm allowing myself to feel better. I'm allowing myself to feel better. Because hey. Because hey. Even though there's scary things going on. Even though there's scary things going on. I'm a great kid. I'm a great kid. And I'm going to get through this. And I'm going to get through this. And my family's going to get through this. My family's going to get through this. And we're going to be okay. And we're going to be okay. And I still get scared. And I still get scared. I'm clearing the fear. I'm clearing the fear. I'm allowing myself to feel better. I'm allowing myself to feel better. It's okay to feel good. It's okay to feel good. Maybe I'm afraid. Maybe I'm afraid. That I'm not supposed to feel good right now. That I'm not supposed to feel good right now. That I should feel scared. That I should feel scared. Or sad. Or sad. Or anxious. Or anxious. And I choose to feel good. And I choose to feel good. It's okay to feel good. It's okay to feel good. Even though there's scary stuff going on. Even though there's scary stuff going on. It's okay to feel scared. It's okay to feel scared. And it's also okay to feel good. And it's also okay to feel good. And whatever I feel. And whatever I feel. I am still a really great kid. I am still a really great kid. And I really love that about myself. And I really love that about myself. And take a deep breath. And how do you keep going through that, uh, you know, the fear gets smaller and smaller. And it may take a few times through and may be a matter of talking through things with your parents and uh, helping you to to talk about those things you might be scared of and understanding some of the things that are going on. Let's see. Let's see just... in the comments yeah. by the way just for the, <laughs> kind of the moment of silence through. just yeah smiles just keep all the tapping <laughs> keep tapping smile and tap <laughs> so smile and wave just smile and tap definitely and stay safe yes please stay safe mm -hmm. so um any other uh any things that are coming up that um that people might want to uh might want to tap about any other uh, questions from kids of any age? Mm -hmm. We're all kids. <laughs> He's a kid. Ah, oh, boy. Let's go to you. Thank you. That's in response to someone saying, I have just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that you have the best smile. Thank you. 
I thought I had this. Oh, mine's quirky, so we like it. We like it. Oh, fear, fear about, about losing it. it. <laughs> Definitely. Especially even, with everybody else. Even Zoom. though Facebook is glitchy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, how we... that's a real worry. Yeah. yeah. So. What if I. No. So I was, no, I was just thinking about, um, so I have another book. I don't have, I didn't think to bring it out here, The Wizard's Wizard. Wish. And uh, that you can, at thewizardswish.com, you can see a video of, of me reading that one. So uh, if you want time, that one is there at thewizardswish.com. Oh, there's a question about um, doing... The tapping on your kid or having yeah. them tap. Yeah. Um, Actually, a lot of great suggestions just right there. Yeah, there are. Okay. So, and again, a lot of these times, you don't even have to worry about coming up with a formal tapping round of even though this, 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 or I'm a great kid and I'm a great kid, I'm a great kid, and, and, and going through a formal round like that. You can also just have them tapping while you're talking about things that are going on. So, you know, like talking about not being able to see grandma and grandpa and even grandma and grandpa needing to, uh, to tap on, even though I can't see my grandkids. I've had this, uh, I've gotten this comment from a, a number of folks. Um, I know that my mom is watching this, <laughs> asking a question there about fear of going back outside. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but in terms of the tapping for your child, it depends on, on your child. If your child is old enough to tap on themselves and, and to follow along, and they can be pretty, uh, pretty young. I've seen uh, people have sent videos to me of their um, one and a half, two year old children oh, wow. who, who come in and uh, someone just had to pick a, a video of their child tapping. To, Oh yeah, as soon as she hears me, as soon as she, I, when I'm watching one of your videos, as soon as she hears your voice, she starts walking around doing this. <laughs> so That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm from young fans too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, but you can also certainly tap on them. One of my favorite stories is when Bailey was not even a year old and she had hiccups once and I was just holding her and just uh, tapping under her arm right here. And her hiccup stopped. Hmm. You don't remember that? Wow! And I thought that was a very significant. Oh, that time! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really significant. <laughs> Even though she doesn't remember. <laughs> Way nightmares when I was little too. So that was. Yeah tapped along, yeah. or he did it. Yeah. So, but and there, there are definitely times. I, there are times with adults. Uh, I, I've, when they were so upset about something that they couldn't tap themselves and I said just don't worry about it and uh, and and tapped on the points for them and so you can certainly do that for your kids um, if your hands are clean <laughs> <laughs> don't touch your face don't touch someone else's face unless your hands are clean yes, uh, so um, the fear fear of needles so I'm still scared of needles. So I, I actually do tap every time I go to the doctor's office and they need to stick a needle in me. Um, just tap here, um, like lower my anxiety about it. Um, especially when I'm alone. Um, I don't, I still don't like needles. So it still helps. It still calms me down. I, when I'm at the dentist, sometimes, depending on what, what's on, I'm tapping the finger points down where they where they're not noticing because they're looking at my teeth. <laughs> so I'm just relaxing myself, depending on what's going on, especially you know if they're using some sharp objects. Sorry, I got excited because I saw we have people from Ireland. <sighs> Ireland, Bailey, I Bailey. Love Ireland. Bailey Brophy Yates. I mean, <laughs> I'm studying Irish studies, so. And her dream is to live there, so. so uh, <laughs> um, 
Awesome. Um, surrogate tapping. Yeah. So you know, let's some surrogate tapping right now. So one of the great things is we can often be sending positive energy to other people and be tapping for them. And there are a lot of stories and I've, I've done this. I've been in situations where uh, I've seen someone with a, a baby crying and I'll just be tapping for that child. And uh, I have <laughs> the number of times that that's happened and the, the baby has quieted down is really cool. Uh, you know, everything mm -hmm. is energy. We're all connected. So we, we can do that. So maybe you're thinking about children that you care about that aren't here with you. Or, hey, maybe for you kids, you're thinking about your grandparents or your friends that you're not with. And so we can do some tapping for other people that we care about. So. Good feelings. I'm sending good feelings. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. I am sending good feelings. I'm sending good feelings. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. I'm sending good feelings. I'm sending good feelings. Because I know. Because I know. There are people out there. There are people out there. Who are not feeling too good. Who are not feeling too good. And I choose to feel as good as I can. And I choose to feel as good as I can. So I can send some of those good feelings. So I can send some of those good feelings. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. I'm sending good feelings. I'm sending good feelings. I, I'm sending a lot of good feelings. I'm sending a lot of good feelings. To the people that I love. To the people that I love. The people that I can't see right now. The people that I can't see right now. All the people I'd like to give a big hug. All the people I'd like to give a big hug. I'm sending a, I'm sending a big hug. I'm sending a big hug. I choose to send good feelings. I choose to send good feelings. And one of the best ways to do that. And one of the best ways to do that. Is to feel as good as possible. Is to feel as good as possible. Even when I'm scared. Even when I'm scared. And there are things that scare me. And there are things that scare me. Like going outside. Like going outside. Or needles. Or needles. And there are things that upset me. And there are things that upset me. Not like not being able to see my grandparents, like not being able to see my grandparents or my friends or my friends or a lot of different people or a lot of different people. And since I can't give them a hug, and since I can't give them a hug, at least I can send them good feelings. At least I can send them good feelings. So I'm tapping through my fear. So I'm tapping through my fear. I'm tapping away the yuckies. I'm tapping away the yuckies. So that I feel better and better. So that I feel better and better. So I can send all these good feelings. So I can send all these good feelings. To all these people I love. To all these people I love. And take a deep breath. And the yuckies is, uh, that's from my, my first book about uh, the wizard's wish. And um, let me see if I can find, where's the picture of the... Got some good questions. Yeah. Um, Those are some of the yuckies. The scared, angry, the set, the scared yucky, the angry yucky, the sad yucky. And the wizard tapping them out. Um, especially the high school one. And oh yeah uh and and for the high school seniors especially uh missing the graduation yeah. if you haven't seen the post there's a post that i i put on my facebook page uh, uh we had gotten from someplace else I wrote this beautiful this person was saying how I was kind of bummed about reading the Harry Potter books about how uh, Harry and Ron and Hermione missed their last year of school, but how it was so important for the world that they made that sacrifice and how, oh, I'm getting choked up thinking about it, how seniors, you know, social distancing and, and missing out on their graduation are doing their part to help the world. And so you're being heroes. Yeah. 
So you, you, you can find that on, on my Facebook page if you just scroll down like a week. <laughs> but it's also uh, out there in different places. So that's okay. <laughs> um, but but and, um, and missing school uh, for everyone else, for teachers, you know, all the different things that you're missing out on that Oh, we just tap on it. <laughs> well, yeah. What a concept. <laughs> totally playing it by ear. This is how I do all of my videos. I never know what I'm going to say. So thinking about, think about some of the things that you're missing out on and that you might feel upset about. Even though I'm missing out on things. Even though I'm missing out on things. I'm a really great kid. I'm a really great kid. And for seniors, you can do the, you know, older kids can do the, uh, I love and accept myself, but however you want to say it. And grownups can say I'm a great kid too. <laughs> Even though I'm missing out on things. Even though I'm missing out on things. I'm a really great kid. I'm a really great kid. Even though I'm missing out on things. About all this. That's what really stinks about this. All these things that I like to do. All these things that I like to do. All these things that I want to do. All these things that I want to do. All these things that I've been looking forward to. All these things that I've been looking forward to. And now I have to miss out. And now I have to miss out. And even though I'm missing out on things. And even though I'm missing out on things. I'm, 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 a, I'm missing out on things. I'm missing out on things. And that makes me angry. And that makes me angry. And I feel some fear. And I feel some fear. About what else I'm going to miss out on. About what else I'm going to miss out on. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know how long this is going to last. And how long I'm going to have to miss out on things. And how long I'm going to have to miss out on things. Missing out on getting together with my friends. Missing out on getting together with my friends. Missing out on going to the movies. Missing out on going to the movies. Missing out on going to parties. Missing out on going to parties. And dances. And dances. And graduation ceremonies. And graduation ceremonies. And rock concerts. And rock concerts. All kinds of great things I'm missing out on. All kinds of great things I'm missing out on. And part of me says. And part of me says. I should be upset about that. I should be upset about that. I have a right to be upset about that. I have a right to be upset about that. And I do. And I do. It's not wrong to be upset about this. It's not wrong to be upset, upset about this. I have a right to be upset about that. And I have a right to be upset about that. For as long as I want. For as long as I want. But how long do I want to be upset? But how do I want to be upset? Myself to feel good. I can allow myself to feel good. Even though I'm missing out on things. Even though I'm missing out on things. I also have an opportunity. To do some other things. To do some other things. There are things that I can come up with. There are things that can I can come up with. To entertain myself. To entertain myself. To help me get smarter. To help me get smarter. To help me get better. To help me get better. To help me get stronger. To help me get stronger. To help me get healthier. To help me get healthier. There are a lot of good things I can still do. There are a lot of good things that I can still do. There are a lot of fun things I can do. There are a lot of fun things I can do. There are a lot of great books to read. There are a lot of great books to read. There are all kinds of fun things I can do. There are a lot of fun things that I can do. I can play games with my family. I can play games with my family. I choose to feel good. I choose to feel good. And it's okay. And it's okay. If I'm upset. If I'm upset. About the things I'm missing out on. About the things I'm missing out on. And every so often. And every so often. I might choose to do that. I might choose to do that. Because I don't want to miss out. Because I don't want to miss out. On feeling upset about missing out. About feeling upset about missing out. That was a long one. <laughs> Just tap. All this upset. All this upset. It's anger. All this anger. All this sadness. All this sadness. All this frustration. All this frustration. All these different feelings. All these different feelings. About things I'm missing out on. About things I'm missing out on. There are still a lot of good things to come. There are still a lot of good things to come. 
there are still a lot of good things to come. There are still a lot of good things to come. And I choose to have hope about that. And I choose to have hope about that. And I choose to feel good. And I choose to feel good. About all the things that I'm doing. About all the things that I'm doing. To stay safe. To stay safe. To stay healthy. To stay healthy. And to help other people be safe. And to help other people be safe. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for me. And I'm doing this for other people. And I'm doing this for other people. And I choose to feel really good about that. And I choose to feel really good about that. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. And I love that about myself. And I love that about myself. <laughs> and take a deep breath. Yeah, Bailey, give your dad a hug because he's awesome. <laughs> um, and once again, Penny is also uh, posted in the comments again. Check the comments um, for the links to uh, the, the get the books online, the ebooks for free. That was cute. People were saying that the yuckies look like COVID nineteen. <laughs> now, come to think of it, the little spikes kind of make them a coronavirus. A coronavirus. Corona coronavirus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Actually, you know, I was just ahead of my time. <laughs> Bill Gates. <laughs> You always said you wanted Bill Gates for debt. Right here, it's Bill Gates. What's going on? Uh, no, but I'm going. I, I think I missed some. Um... The only one we missed was tantrums, I think. I keep tapping while we're scrolling through. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of the uh, all of the Ifrig publishing books, and uh, there are so many awesome authors that um, have uh, that Penny has published. Oh, sorry. Please stand by mm -hmm. technical difficulties. Okay. Mm -hmm. All well, right, someone else from Spain. Oh, your dog's legs crossed. Our shadow used to do the cutest thing with her uh, She's paws. like a queen. Yes. Regal. It's another thing, uh, you know, you can tap when you lose a, lose a furry friend. Yeah. Um, what else? What else should we tap on? It's a long, long, long book to read. So, so again, you can, uh, if you go on thewizardswish.com, I'll put that in here. You can find a this video. Of me reading the wizard wish. It's also on YouTube. If you go to brad.com forward slash kids, that'll take you to a link to all of my um, kids videos, the ones that Bailey and I did. Uh, when she was nine, and then when she was nineteen, and also the the videos that I did where, uh, where I really, also I did a, a video tapping away the yuckies. So, lots of videos to uh, to tap through. So, oops, I had... oh. <laughs> Is there anything? No, it's not. 
Facebook isn't allowing me to share the wizardswish.com because it, it's confused. <laughs> so it, it gets confused with my old website, which is where that, that link is. So I'll have to update that. <laughs> Anyhow, technical things. <laughs> Facebook. Very grateful for this opportunity that Facebook has created to be able to, uh, to share this and, and to be able to spend time with you guys because here we are uh, where we're not able to get together, but it is so amazing that we're able to get together like this online. So I really miss, uh, miss being able to do so, so, so see you I'm able to feel your, feel your energy comments. So, so uh, oh, sweet. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't think that's my website, though, Julianne, but thank you. I don't know what wizardswish.com is, mm -hmm. because mine is thewizardswish.com. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 1 a.m. and I'm <laughs> Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. I know I was thinking when, I know there's Ireland, London, Spain, uh, a number of wow. you have, as I said, stayed up very, very late or gotten up very, very early. And uh, I'm, we are honored by that, that you would spend time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. That. And we're, uh, top of the hour. So we'll do one more quick tapping round. And then I'm going to do a very quick little, uh, a simple guided imagery. So, what do you think? I'm general anxiety. Well, well, you know, we'll do a we'll do a positive one. Okay. So, and I think we may we may have started with this, but uh, you know, here you can just when you're tapping, you can just say simple things like. I choose to feel really good. I choose to feel really good. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. I choose to feel really good. I choose to feel really good. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. I choose to feel really good. I choose to feel really good. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. I choose to feel really good. 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 Even when things are scary. Even when things are scary. I can still try to feel good. I can still try to feel good. And I can let go of the yuckies. And I can let go of the yuckies. I can tap those yuckies away. I can tap those yuckies away. And remember that it's okay to feel good. And remember that it's okay to feel good. I choose to feel really good. I choose to feel really good. Because I'm worth that. Because I'm worth that. I deserve to feel good. I deserve to feel good. And it's good for other people too. And it's good for other people too. Because when I'm feeling good. Because when I'm feeling good. It helps to rem it helps remind other people. It helps remind other people that it's okay for them to feel good too. That it's okay for them to feel good too. And when I'm feeling good, and when I'm feeling good, it makes it easier for me. And it makes it easier for me to help other people. To help other people who might be feeling scared. Who might be feeling scared. Who might be feeling upset. Who might be feeling upset. When other people have the yuckies. When other people have the yuckies. I can help them tap those away. I can help them tap those things away. And that feels really good to do. And that feels really good to do. And I choose to feel really good. And I choose to feel really good. And I'm a really great kid. And I'm a really great kid. And take a deep breath. Now go ahead and close your eyes. Close your eyes and just get comfortable. Take a deep breath in and hold it, and let it go. Another deep breath in and hold it, and let it go. A third deep breath in and hold it. Comfortably with your eyes closed. Just breathing comfortably with your eyes closed and allow yourself to relax. 
Just give yourself permission to relax. It's kind of like taking a nap, but it's a nap that you allow yourself to, to just be listening. So it's more fun than a nap. And just imagine, imagine that a wonderful light, a very healing light, a magical light is coming down over the top of your head. Maybe it's a tingling feeling, maybe it's a warm feeling, very comfortable, relaxed feeling coming down over your head and over your face and the back of your head and your neck. And that magical healing light comes down over your shoulders and down your arms, down over your chest and your stomach and your upper and lower back and down over your lower body, down over your legs. And finally, that healing light just flows over your toes as you allow yourself to relax, relax, relax. Just breathing comfortably with your eyes closed, listening to the sound of my voice and the words that I'm saying. Allow yourself to relax. I want you to use your imagination and imagine yourself in some beautiful place. It could be a place that you know and love. It might be a park that you like to go to. It might be the beach. It might be in the mountains. Some place that you really love to go. It could be any place, any place you like. It could be a place that you completely make up in your imagination. And just imagine yourself there and imagine yourself running around and playing in this place with all of your favorite people. It could be your parents, your siblings, your grandparents, aunts and uncles and cousins, your best friends. And because this is in your imagination, you can be in this place running around and having fun you can give your friends a hug. You can give your grandparents a hug and allow yourself to feel that. You can high five your friends. You can do what you want to do and have fun. And just allow yourself to remember that there are still beautiful places and still beautiful things out there. There are still wonderful things in this world. Some of these you can still enjoy, and some of these things you just have to wait a little while, but you can allow yourself to enjoy them here in your imagination. Giving yourself permission to enjoy them in your imagination right now. That's a place you can always go and play and see your friends and anyone else you want to visit with. So allowing yourself to feel good about that. Allowing yourself to be in this happy place and feel those happy feelings in every part of you. Just allow them to be in every part of you. And as you allow yourself to feel that happy feeling, you can send that happy feeling out to all these people, sending out across the world. Imagine sending happy feelings all the way across the world. as we relax even more, relaxing deeper and deeper. Just allow yourself now to just bring yourself back home, bringing with you all those good feelings, allowing yourself to feel good inside. Tonight when you choose to go to sleep, you can allow yourself to have a really good night's sleep and have really good dreams so that in the morning you wake up easily feeling great so that you can have a great day. And now just allowing yourself to be right here, still with your eyes closed, but allowing yourself to start to come back to the room, 
bringing with you all those good feelings and still allowing yourself to send good feelings out to others and becoming more and more awake and open your eyes. Take another deep breath. And thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for joining us for family time. And remember to, to use the tapping when you're not feeling so good, when you're feeling those yuckies. It's a great way to you know, move through them. It's, you're not bad or wrong for having uncomfortable feelings. That's part of being human. As human beings, we uh, feel all kinds of different things. But we don't have to feel them for too long. We can let them go as fast as possible. So, more cousins saying hi. <laughs> All right, everyone. And um, again, the tapwithbrad.com is where you'll know when my next live presentation is going to be. On last night and tonight, having Bailey. And uh, it's fun for me to share my family with all of you. And we'll uh, tap with you soon. Take care, everybody. Good night.